Innovate UK Application Finances. To claim funding, your business does not have to be UK registered with Companies House when you apply into the competition, but it must be registered before you can receive funding. You are unable to claim funding if your company number begins with FC, BR or ML or you belong to any of the Crown dependencies listed on this slide. So companies based in Jersey with a company number beginning with JE or your company is based in Guernsey or the Isle of Man. You are also unable to receive funding if your company is based in any of the British Overseas Territories listed here. These are the project cost categories you will need to complete. More information to follow. For labour costs, enter the role within the project, the gross annual salary, the number of staff and the days to be spent on the project. It will then automatically calculate the total costs. If you have multiple people in the same role on the same average salary, enter this in the role within project field. If an employee is part-time, you should enter their costs as a full-time equivalent. You can adjust the working days per year from the default if this is different for your project. Please note that dividends, bonuses and non-productive time cannot be included within your labour costs as they are ineligible. And when making grant claims against labour costs, actual costs claimed must be supported with timesheet evidence. Enter and describe what materials you intend to use on the project, the volume and the cost. And the materials listed must be project specific. Any items which you would usually depreciate as per your company's policy should be listed in capital usage. And materials supplied by associated companies or subcontracted from other consortium members, these must be listed at cost, excluding any profit element or margin. If your subcontractor sub costs are going to be significant, then you will need to justify who, why, and what you need them for. It is important that you justify the use of subcontractors within your application, especially those that are non-UK based, so the assessors can decide if these costs are reasonable when they assess your application. If you use a parent or sister company, please ensure you list the cost price, not inclusive of profit price. Travel and subsistence costs. Here you would include things such as any essential meetings that need to happen during the project. You cannot include any sales and marketing activity as this is ineligible. Travel costs must be at economy travel only and you should be prepared to provide a breakdown of these costs if the project finance reviewer asks for more detail. For example, they might require you to split a trip into its subsistence accommodation and travel components. We define overheads as additional costs and operational expenses incurred directly as a result of the project. You can select how you would like your overheads calculated from the three options you can see on the screen. We class indirect or administrative overheads as those costs associated with back office functions such as finance or HR, with whose primary function is to support the running of a business. They can only claim a portion of their time and their work needs to be additional to the delivery of the project and not business as usual. Typically, 
these costs are not directly related to a particular product or service production. Direct overheads are costs associated with staff working directly on the project. We supply a simple form into which you can list out each type of direct overhead together with the methodology or basis of apportionment to this particular project. Again, these overheads would not be incurred if the project does not happen. Here you'll need to describe how you're using the equipment, whether it is new or existing, the new purchase cost, how long you are depreciating it over, and the residual value at the end. These calculations will need to be in line with your accounting practices. Please check the finance guide for what costs can be included here. And if you are unsure, please do not hesitate to contact our customer support team. You would include any costs which do not fit into any previous categories, but please ensure that there is no double counting and all costs are justified. For collaborative applications, IFS will highlight to the lead applicant any partners who have outstanding project finances to complete and all finances must be included in the application before the lead applicant can submit. It will also check that your research participation costs are within the required limits. However, IFS does not validate project costs. It is your responsibility to ensure all costs are within the eligible total project costs as stated in the brief. Funding rules. As previously mentioned, the level of funding awarded will depend upon the type of organisation and the type of research being undertaken in the project. IFS will calculate your grant percentage based on your answers inputted. As a reminder, the amount of funding you are eligible to receive is dependent upon your organisation type as shown here. Academic partners. Academic partners in your consortium will need to complete a JES form, which they should be familiar with. The form validates the costs for us. Innovate UK do not have access to the JES system to extract information ourselves, which is why this needs to be sent to us. When they've completed their JES form, academics will need to include their unique reference number on IFS and input their figures. Please ensure the figures you provide are identical. Form must be with council status and uploaded to IFS as a PDF. Thank you.